Hi everyone, it's Kim here with Sunshine Creations and Crafts. I am going to be doing um, sort of like a mixed media thing as a thank you gift for the ladies at my son's office, um, the, the attendance office, super, super nice ladies. Anyway, but before I get started, I must share this with you. So, Glary, look, this is a real place, people. This is in France. It's called um, Cromany, or I, I don't speak French, but oh, is that gorgeous? I need to go here. Anyway, this, I got a picture from someone over Facebook. So, all right, so let's get started. I, what I did, I'm trying to get my thought process going here, is I cut out the, um, it's not a frame, but it's the back of the frame thingy that comes with the, um, this is Happy Hello, Happy Hauntings. Let me show you the cover here. Yeah, Happy Hauntings. And I cut it out on the Cricut Craft Room at four and a half wide by five and um, a quarter. And then I cut this little backing out here. And I'll just set that aside and show you what it's going to look like. This is it. And then we're trying to figure out like how to put this together. But what I'm going to do is there's a little tick line right here. So I'm going to score it. I already did this one. And I'm going to either hot glue or um, put score tape on it. You know, whatever that's the strongest. And what it does is it sits up like this. So first I need to create it though, right? Okay, so I used my die kits with a view and this is that um, they call it handmade paper but it's it's like really thick it's gorgeous gorgeous paper now I mentioned it this in a video a long time ago but um, Cricut no matter how I put deep cut blade not deep cut blade uh, whatever I try it does not cut on the Cricut so I just laid a piece of it over the panel and hand cut it and then I left out a little bit of edging here, but on the bottom part where the stand is going to go, I went ahead and cut it right on the exact um, edge of it. Now I started working on this and I thought, gosh, you know, I'll just do a video because I haven't done a video for a while. So here we go. Um, first I inked it with my Tim Holtz vintage photo and I will show that to you. This here. And then I came in with a little bit of spun sugar and I inked it with that. And then I took a doily that I got at Walmart and I bought a bunch of these. This one, I, this one I actually got at the grocery store, but um, these other doilies I got at Walmart and I did spray it ahead of time with vintage pink, shake this up a little bit, um, Glimmer Mist by the Tattered Angels. And then I came in with my my brown. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Sorry. Um, cream to chocolate. I was gonna say cream to cocoa. Um, and sprayed and um, just sprayed a little bit on that as well. So we're going with like the pinks and the browns. Now I want to go ahead and spray this as well. I I wasn't going to, but now that I was kind of looking at it, I thought it needed a little bit more color than this. And we're just gonna swirl that around a little bit. And typically you would have to hold it up, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If I hold it, spray it down like that, it's not gonna work out right, so. And this will just give it a little bit of color here and there. And that is Cream de Rouge. And then let's go in with some Gumdrop. Give it some green color. I saw a demonstration on a YouTube video about how to use these. I was always hitting the bottom of it and they said not to do that. So that's why I'm swirling it around. And this is what I say, gumdrop. Yes. Oh, pretty. Okay. I like that. And then when that dries, it'll dry sparkly as well. And I'm going to put that right there. And I'm not going to put the whole doily on there. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. But I want to do some placements first. I've um, got a couple things here. These are um, Shabby Chic. It doesn't look like I've opened them yet. So let's go ahead and do that. 
so three of those. And I've got some Prima brown roses here. Sorry about the crunching noise. And these are on like a wire. Oops. Okay, that one went on the floor. Pick up that later. All right. So that side, so we've got these. And I'm going to put some swirlies on. And I'm also going to put one of these studio, either one or two of these studio um, calico chipboard butterflies. And then I'm going to be doing a little thank you. Okay, so I think I'm ready. I've never done anything like this before, but I've kind of seen some similar designs like this. I'm looking for my glue. There we go. And I gotta be careful here that I don't want the glue to seep through the holes too much. Really don't need a lot. Look at that paper, isn't that gorgeous? Funny how I get so excited about paper. Did I put that on the right side? Yeah. So we're gonna kind of put this on the side like this. All right, and I didn't um, heat up my hot glue gun, but my glossy accents are right here. So hopefully this will squeeze out and I can, you know what? Does anybody have a um, suggestion on how to make it so that your glossy accents don't get all clogged up like this. I mean, I usually just use my little paper piercer, but I know there's got to be a way so that this doesn't get clogged up. Okay, now that's all the way through, so hopefully. All right, so we have these three little roses. Now, I know I cut out three roses, didn't I? Oh, yeah, this guy got it. Let's kind of arrange those. Don't need the wire. And I'll do a couple right here. thought was, um, you know, maybe if they wanted to, they could just plop it up on their desk or a shelf in their office or something. Okay, I'm not sure about that. That looks like too many. I do like the colors, though. Okay, I'm not going to commit to that yet. Now, these are Prima also. And I think, oh gosh, I don't know how where I got these. I have no idea where I got these. <laughs> A lot of help I am, right? Okay, so we're gonna put a blingy bling on there if I can get that off. I always have a hard time doing this because I, I rip it. You can tuck that right there like that. Oh, it's so pretty. I love this kind of stuff. Look, okay. Maybe I should put another one as well. No, because I'm going to put the thank you right here. All right, so let's see if we can commit to our... Oh, come on. What I should do is I should just stick a paper clip in there and not worry about closing it up with the lid. And then the paper clip will always... Oh, I got it. Yay. The paper clip will always um, keep that open. Okay, here we go, people. That's got a um, little foam dot to it, but I've used these kind before and I know that they don't hold. So. silence. I think I ripped the 
side of that little tube thing there. Oh my gosh, I cannot make a decision. Okay. Yeah, that's what I did. I ripped it. Well, at least it's working, right? I'll figure something out. Okay, let that dry. Now, butterflies. tip it up this way so I don't spill butterflies out all over the place. That one's kind of funky looking. That's a white one. That won't show. That one's too big. I want little ones. Maybe that one. That one's got a little pattern to it. Those three. I think the rest of them are all pretty much the same. Yeah. Okay. Done with that. Oh, look at this little teeny one. Oh, goodness. Okay. That's what we'll do. We'll do two mediums and then a small. Um, gosh, I should probably pop this up. Let me grab my pop dots. Pop dots. Oh, you know what? I have my foam adhesive. That'll be good. And... Let's do, you know, <laughs> I had bought this at um, the, it, the foam adhesive type at Michael's and I used my coupon. And I was at Walmart the other day. I'm like, oh, geez, this is like $1.97 or something. So, um, yeah, I should be probably buying this at Walmart from now on. Even with the coupon, it's still quite expensive. Yeah, these ladies at the school they work so hard especially having to put up with parents <laughs> speaking for myself exactly because I am one of those parents I am high maintenance because my baby is my baby but these ladies I've never had any kind of worries or problems or conflict with they're great very helpful too Yeah, so this is a little bit different of a, a thing that I've done, as I mentioned. Nice. Oh, I like it. Oh, I got to trim my little doily here. Huh? See if that stuff will fall off. There we go. I have two of these I have to make. And I'm not going to make them the same because they're for the same ladies. And um, yeah, it would look funny, both of them being the same. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of... Um, spun sugar. Uh, no, I'm going to do vintage photo on the end that I just cut. I hope I don't knock my roses off. Yeah, there we go. Uh -uh. Stay. Talking to them like I do my dogs. All right, so now for the thank you, which is going to go right here, uh, I'm thinking of maybe just doing like a cream color or maybe some, oh, no, 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 this pink would be so pretty. Okay, we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna be using some Hero Arts stamps and I just like the way this thank you looks. Um, that's why I use this one a lot, but I have I have other stamps that say thank you, but this one I just, I love it, so let's do this. Oh, just hit my lamp. That's funny. And let's do some archival ink. And I'm just going to actually um, hand cut this, <laughs> or so she says. Get this off here. And just kind of make like a one-sided banner with it. Trim that 
off a little bit. I hope I get this straight. Oh, you know what I should do is I should put a little bit of vintage photo on this as well. All right, so yeah, I can dream about going to France someday. That was totally off the wall for me to just say that, but I was just thinking, I just saw that picture and I was, wow, there's actually a place like this. Okay, so that's going to go in there and I just want to kind of get an idea of where I want to put it. And it's okay that it hangs off right there. I think it gives it character. So I just grab my glue here. And lay that down. Okay, now let's attempt to, let's see, one at 16 minutes, uh, put the backing on. And... This might be just a temporary thing because I'm running out of time. And you know, you could even cover the, um, the back as well if you wanted to. I'm gonna just, I want it to go about right there. Ooh, crossing our fingers here, I hope this works. I may have to fold this down a little bit more. Yeah, I need to fold this down. and make it bigger, which is fine. This is all kind of an experiment for me because I have not done this before. Gosh, did I say that like three times? I think I made my point, didn't I? All right, well, that's kind of a bummer. I'll have to scrape that off. All right, let's see if this will work better. Kind of trying to get it even there. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so there it is. Can you guys see that? It's finished. It looks okay, actually. I don't know if I should put some leaves in there or not, but all right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.